Hello everybody, welcome to this week's vlog. Today is gonna to be a little bit different. I'm kind of combining more of a structured video where I am reviewing my brand new Canon PowerShot G5X. And the point of this video is going to be to give you a little bit of a review. It's not gonna go too much into specs because you can find that anywhere online and just Googling it. There are a lot of other YouTube videos that go a little bit more into detail about all of the functions on the camera. I wanted to talk to you guys about why I chose the Canon PowerShot G5X over something like the G7. And for me personally, the reason that I chose the G5X is because I also usually shoot on my, right now I'm filming this on my Canon 6D. I use my 6D to do photography, but I use it for weddings and senior photos and paying gigs. And so I don't always like to lug around my DSLR at places that I might want to take photos because I enjoy photography as my hobby in my everyday life, but I don't always enjoy taking out my giant DSLR and risking dropping it. I don't want anything to happen to it. So I wanted something that I could bring with me, travel that's compact that I could just throw in my purse and keep with me pretty much all the time so that I can improve my photography because I normally shoot on this. This is what I used to shoot my vlogs with. This is my cell phone. This is a Galaxy Note 4 and it's got a pretty good camera on it but using the front facing camera it actually desaturates your image and it's kind of hard to just hold it like this all the time and it has no um, image stabilization. Well it has some but it's not very good. It's not as good as something like the G5X. So basically when I did a lot of research I learned that the G5X is really good for or photographers who don't want to carry their DSLR everywhere but still want to get quality photos. This can shoot in raw. It has the fully articulating screen so I can shoot from any angle if I want to shoot up or down and keep the screen facing me so that I can see. That's great. And most of all, obviously, I can use it for vlogging so that I can hold it out like this. And today I'm going to also do some test footage on this because a lot of the time when I was trying to find review videos on the G5X, I had a hard time finding people who were talking about it for the purpose of vlogging. Everybody wants to talk about the G7 7X or the G7X Mark II or the Sony A5100. There's a lot of other vlogging cameras that people talk about a lot more than this one. Another reason that I like it for photography is because it has the actual electronic viewfinder right here so that when you're trying to shoot in direct sunlight, you'll actually be able to see. It's kind of hard. You might notice a glare on the screen when you're shooting like that. So I like that this has an actual viewfinder. Another thing I like about the articulating screen is that it's not always fully exposed in the G7X or G7X Mark II. The screen only flips up. It does not actually flip back around to protect itself. And so I like the idea of being able to, when I'm done, flip this around, close it, and, and have it be protected right here. Now, to protect my G5X, I also purchased, everything I purchased I got at Best Buy, by the way, the G5X cost me 699 US dollars. And then I also bought myself this little compact camera carrying case. It's got a zipper and a pocket inside for extra batteries or memory cards, so that'll be nice. And then I also got myself a one of these Joby Gorilla Pods. So all together I have the tripod, the camera, and the case. That's my little miniature haul from Best Buy. And I'm very excited about the G5X. It's gonna greatly improve the quality of my vlogs, especially when I combine it with some shots from the DSLR. So now we're gonna take this with me for the day. We're gonna go visit my friend Haley and her son Liam. She's my best friend and I don't get to hang out with her all that often, so I'm gonna go see her. So you're gonna to get to see how this compares to my Galaxy Note 4. All right, so let's go. So here we are. We are doing a side-by-side -side comparison of my Canon G5X. That's this camera right here on my left that is shaking more and my Galaxy Note 4, which is this one on my right, which is shaking more. You can tell um, that this one has a much more wide angle, but that's because it's a cell phone and it's for selfie mode. You can tell that the quality is drastically different between the two on my phone. I'm a little bit more expo overexposed when I pull away. Then the color is a lot better in the G5X. Okay, so now I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then I'm gonna get out of here. That's all yours. Yum. Okay, everybody, this is my best friend, Haley. 
So I was just at her house. You probably saw some clips of her adorable son, Liam. How old is Liam now? 16 months. That's so insane. I remember when he was just a newborn and we were doing his newborn photos. <laughs> now we both need to get some work done. Haley is a beach body coach and she needs to get work done on her computer. And I just shot a wedding recently and I need to edit some wedding photos. That's how you know you're in the Pacific Northwest. That one's really cute. <laughs> I don't know what I want. In like low light, like it's not even that bright out right now, and it's doing pretty good. Oh, that is pretty good. <laughs> I need this camera. In my Seriously, life. I love this camera. Review for day one is awesome. We just left Black Rock. We got a lot of work done, even though we were talking a lot to each other. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm sorry, I know, internet. I always do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's one problem people complained about with this is that when they see themselves, they look at the viewfinder more often instead of the lens, but you can just flip the viewfinder around and not look at yourself. It's not that hard. Well, that's it for hanging out right now. Time to go take Haley home. <laughs> Dropping Haley off. And I forgot my water bottle. So I'm coming back for it. Hey, my water bottle. Thanks, Nick. Hey, bud. <laughs> okay, vlog. Say bye to Haley. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with me. this camera my final first day rating I think that it is working pretty well the battery life is not that good it's actually about to die but for regular vlogging purposes it lasted me most of the day the automatic white balance wasn't as good as it could be otherwise that's pretty much my only complaints about it so I'm gonna end the vlog right here because my battery is about to die but thanks for hanging out with me today I'm going to finish the rest of my evening bye guys mm -hmm.